everybody. Welcome to episode 75 on Friday the 7th of May. I'm Marie. Dominique. Nice to see you. Sorry, we're not here. We messed you around the last two weeks, but... Yeah, sorry. It's Just been... It, it, it was my fault. My fault this week. Um, I was waiting for the BT man to come and uh, look at our problem we've been having with the internet. Um, and his appointment was between two and four o'clock, which was really good. Couldn't pick a better time, could they? No. But well, anyway. He, anyway. So hopefully, there's still some of you out there joining us live and you're not all having your tea. But Let's hope so. Or watching the briefing, either way, to yeah. see if you can all go on holiday. That's probably what they're all doing, watching to see if they can all go on holiday yet. Oh. So, hello, everybody. I'm just going to put a comment on then. It might let the... Um, I don't know if it works or it doesn't work, but we'll give it a go. Um, so yeah, did you have a did you have a nice holiday? I did. Yes, I, came, I mean, not massively, but I came back off holiday with a bit of a tan. So perfect. So you want to, from a holiday? You wouldn't have got a tan here. You just got rusty. It's never stopped raining. Honestly, it's absolutely <laughs> bored down, windy. <laughs> Hailstorms. Uh, I came back through quite a lot of rain. Um, but hi, Sarah, thank you. Um, yeah, I have to say, when I got home, the house felt cold. The house felt cold and damp. But, you know, the heating's on and it's warmed up. It has been absolutely freezing, like really, really cold to snap again. Honestly, the amount of times I've gone out on a morning to collect the milk, like the cars have all been frosted over, still at like half past seven, quarter to eight. Oh dear. Not very good, is it? So, Hi Lisa, I did wave as I came past. I was like, hello Lisa. Did you have a good journey back then? Oh, yeah, not too bad. Oh. I just, the M62, I will drive anywhere, I'll drive for as long as you like. This country, different countries, but the M62, they're just there's always speed restrictions, so yeah. you're doing 40, or you sat in neutral with your handbrake on for no reason. And it's boring, isn't it? It's I don't like you, I'd rather just be going. I'd rather even come off the road and be going somewhere than sat slow. And which way you get busy, and maybe that's the motorway I go on most, but no other motorway, no other road seems to be like that. So um yeah, it, it, yeah, it was fine. So you were in a beautiful place. Oh, it was stunning. It really was stunning. Um, hi, Lynn. Um, hi, Lynn. Oh, so, yeah. Um, Good. I, I love being away, but I do like that first night back in your own bed. I know. There's nothing quite like it, is there? Getting back in your own home and your own bed. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. quite. I yeah. always come and go, oh, I love my bed. I like my bed. My bed's so comfortable. Just, I, I've had a bath. You know, I enjoy a bath, but just to be able to get in the bath. Oh, I did come home and, because I'd emptied the fridge almost, but I thought before putting everything back, I'd just clean the fridge out. Let me fill the water, sink with water. No hot water. No oh. heat. <sighs> so. Yeah, because you had the problems with your boiler, haven't you? The first 20 minutes, I was scrabbling around in the loft. It had lost water pressure. It's done it once before, and I know now I can just Google it and I know what to do. But, but should, you shouldn't keep doing that, though, should it? No, but it does say, because I watched the YouTube, and the YouTube man did say, it's a sealed unit, but just every now and again, it loses. I'm not joking, it takes about... 30 seconds, not even that. It's not but funny though, is it, when you want, when you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to be worried frozen. about it in the loft. It could have been frozen, oh. but it, it was just low pressure. It and now surprise me if it was frozen. YouTube it, get up there. Oh but, dear, no spiders up there then, nothing nasty. I don't look too far ahead. One, I've got two bulbs up there, and I thought, oh, oh, one of them's gone. I thought, I'm not even changing it. I'll just, like, crawl. There were quite a few dead spiders, but just don't look. Do what you need to do and get out. Well, I mean, so you were travelling on the M62, and I, and I was having my mammogram, so, I mean, we both had fantastic moment, mornings, didn't we? Yeah. 
Perfect. Oh, I'm about to say they were very efficient. You know, that's been the only good thing about the things that's happened since COVID. Like your appointments are all dead on time. I was only in, like in and out in 15 minutes. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. It was, but <laughs> go on. I think for checkups, we just take it for granted. I suppose if you're waiting for treatment and that's pushed back, that's not brilliant. But uh, like checkups and anything like that, it is being really good. I was talking to the radiographer and I was saying, is it, you know, is it more efficient? She said, well, normally, because they always have to go book more appointments, don't they? Just in case people... So she said, normally they would book 70 appointments for 50, expecting 50 to turn up. But she said, what they're doing is they're just booking and you come in. So it's yeah. not, it, you know, you're not waiting, there's no, but we were laughing because I was saying, you know, if if men had to go through what the might, and not that it's painful, it's just uncomfortable, it's, it's weird. And um, I said, if men had to go through this, they would have designed a better way, wouldn't they? Because there's no way they'd be shoving any part of their body between two plates, would they, and squishing it together. They wouldn't, would they? And she was saying, no, you're right, it would be a nice, ex would be a pleasant experience, wouldn't it? So come on. Design a better way to have a mammogram than have your boobs squashed between but two. There is a better way, is there? Yeah. But they must, they must be able to do some different sort of scan. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? It's just the squashing them down. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, like the, uh, it's like the scene in Calendar Girls where she's like, you're going to need considerably bigger buns. It's when they're like, you're going to need the big plates. Brilliant. Thank you. Oh, dear. anyway, uh, anyway. Yeah, well, I've got a I had a lovely time. Thank you. I hope you did as well. I hope you had nice weather. Hi, Victor. Well, my theme today is boobs, and you'll know what I'm talking about when I start showing you things. There is a bit of a boob theme, so yeah, I'm going to call it Booby Friday. Um, so Let me write down Booby Friday. Booby Friday. Can I tell you what my first boob, well, I've talked about my first boob. The second boob, I'm knitting, oh, I'm knitting this for Grace. Oh, yes. And it's a little top and guess what it's called? Is it called a boob tube? It's called the boob window. So, so I mean, it does stretch a bit. It's a new pattern that's out. Um, and it's by um, a young designer, so it's the boob window. The pattern I've got, I think, because she was doing like asking people to just test it for as well. Um, so it's the boob window by Majestic. So that's Mike Alpha Julia Echo Sierra Tango India Charlie Hotel Designs. And I saw that picture, and she was she'd done a few bits on the on her Instagram, and I thought, do you know what? That's just like a top grace would wear. I'm going to give it a bash. I mean, don't. I I think that is really, really nice. The, I, I, I think you've got to be... No. The pattern, the pattern goes up to... Um, a, a certain age. Oh, yeah, probably. Goes up to, goes up to um, really big sizes and you can make it into a longer top. So I think you could, you know... I would just... I mean, that, a, it's not going to go anywhere near my boobage, is it? But you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not too much of a... But I it, like the neck on it. Yeah, really nice. What wool are you using? Well, I'm using up some stash. So that's an old... Um, boo. Th that was a bibbidi bobbidi boot. So that's cashmere. It was cashmere yeah. and something, wasn't it? But it was that wool. Yeah. And then some ballistina. I'm holding them. Island, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm, moving, I'm putting them together. Um, and although the pattern should be rib all the way. You know how I hate ribs. So I thought, I'm just doing it plain. I'm really happy how it's turned out. So the, well, it, the whole thing should be rib. Yeah, if you look at the pattern, you probably can't see. It's all rib. Oh. No, you can't. I'm just going to knit it. Because it has got still a bit of stretching, because she says, don't panic if it looks small, because it stretches. But I just think it's really nice. So you start off doing that in the round. On the yeah. neck, and then you sort of join your sleeves together. They're not true sleeves, do you know what I mean? So you knit it flat and then join it together again. Really nice pattern, really lovely pattern. But you, your tension is going to be quite different between a ribbon and a normal knit, isn't it? 
yeah, I'm just winging it. But I mean, look at the stretch in it. There's a lot of stretch in it still. Yeah. Um, so, That's really nice. Um, so, so got a, is that out? The pattern out yet? Yes, the pattern's out now. And she's just amended the pattern as well. Um, so yeah, the boob window. She's got some really nice things, really nice young designer with some really nice patterns on, on, on there. It literally just popped up on somebody. Somebody else had said that they were looking for test knitters. And you could either do it as a test knit and you could get the pattern free, I think, or you could pay pay for it and just then she would give you all the updates. And I thought, well, I'll just pay for it, you know, help somebody along. So, yeah. That's really nice. I do need boob stitch markers. So that's two boobs, two boobs we've got so far. And we're only what? We're only a few minutes in. I mean... <sighs> I don't think I've got any boobs. Well, I've got another technical boob, but... What have you been up to then? You seem to have been busy. Um, I'm just looking. Uh, which bag? That bag, I think. I'm just going to put yeah. the line back up again because it put it down because the sun was shining in. Come back up. Oh, so, oh my too sunny now. Oh, Dominique, that's gorgeous. It's not so it needs blocking. I but love the colours. This, but when I was to put, getting all my projects together to decide what I was going to take, um, I bought this skein, uh, oh, a, a long time ago from, from Rhapsody Yarns and Notions. Ooh. That's the label. Ooh. That's a gorgeous colour. I think I bought it. I'm not, I don't think. I know I did. I don't know which one. It was one of the Yorkshire Yarn Fests. Right. Um, and she was showing different things. They were sold out, but I went onto website and thought, I really like that. I really like it. That's really nice. Then when it came, I mean, there's like... Is it that color in? But that's like fluorescent highlighter yellow and yeah when it came i was a bit like not, what am i gonna do with it because it was a bit too is it double knit it's double knit as well i don't i don't know why i bought it i don't know why i bought one skein of double knit but i did and it's been sat there for a while and all of a sudden i saw this pattern so i went my stash and i got just some starcraft bellissima what, the same, the same as I'm using, Stylecraft Bellissima? Well, because it's in my stash. Yeah. You just... Um, I, I just can't believe how differently it's knit up. Do you know what? I might have to steal some of that off you because I'm, I'm literally running out, so I might need just a bit for the well, rib. You can, have, you can have a bit for the rib. I've got that much left, and I think I'm going to do some mittens. To... Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But as it's knitting up, because I've put the cream with it, I think, it, so just, it just seems to have knocked it back. That's very similar to that honeycomb pattern I did, yeah. isn't it? So this is the, the West Desert Hood by Lake Salt Knits on Ravelry. It's a free pattern done on five millimetre needles. So... It's not a really dense fabric, and I've stopped. So the pattern, it, she actually has it as a hood. It looks so it, really chunky. It looks really nice. It is a cowl, but on the pattern. But I would wear my cowls like that anyway if I'm taking the dog out. I wouldn't. So I stopped it. Uh, I just... I Come really, on. What do we always do with a cow? You've got to tuck your cow. No. Um... <laughs> I finished it yesterday, so I've not had time to block it and weave the ends in. But it's a, I just thought it was a really nice size. Lovely. And it transformed what I didn't really like the skein into something I really like. Um, Isn't it weird, though? We say this, don't we? Put it with different colours. And yeah. I really... I like that wool, though. I like the colours in this. Really nice. But I... I would never knit myself something in cream either, but yeah. it was the right contrast. Yeah. It was the right Good. contrast for it. So um, I thought it was a free pattern. I'll give it a go. And I really liked it. And it's, it, 
it's a 75%, 25% nylon merino mix. It's really nice. It is a really, it was really nice to knit with. I'm just not sure what I ever thought I was going to do with 100 grams of double knit like that. Sometimes no, you just... No, we... But that's why I'm just trying to use stash. So I really wanted to find a pattern that worked. Um, and like your honeycomb, and different people are doing mosaic. And I just thought, yeah. oh, I'm just going to give it a go. Yeah. When it's blocked, it's going to really yeah, come. Really nice, isn't it? Um, so that was a very quick knit. A nice, easy knitting while I was away. I didn't really have to think about it. That so was a cast on and a cast off. That's... Had I not cast it on last week? I don't think so. You hadn't mentioned you had. No, I think I'd just cast it on okay. last week. But because I'd got so much to show, I think it got neglected. Because according to my notes, I cast it on on the 25th of April, which was yeah. earlier than last week. Yeah. So, but yeah. cast on and cast off within two weeks. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Right. Sniffing. Sniff, sniff of lavender. Hear you, me. Um, do you want to see my third boob? So to yeah. speak. Let's see your third boob. The third boob is a boob I made. Uh, that's, that's my tenuous link. So while Dominique's been away, I've, I've been up to the shed and done a bit of dyeing for some orders and bits and pieces. And I did make a bit of a mistake on something. I got some dye on it, so I just went for it. So it's not just me that does it. No, it's not just you that does it. Um, so this is pinks and purples. If I mean, it's that, what, boob, but my goodness me, it's one of your boobs. Yeah, it's 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 I'd have, uh, pinks I'd, and purples. I'd have never come up with them colours. Well, it's because I got purple rain on something to start off with, and I thought, oh, what am I, go I going to do with that? Oh, I'll just make a colour. Um, so it's a one-off. It's not on the website. If £16, it's the Superwash Merino Nylon. If anybody's interested... Is it full ply? Full ply. Say yes or no, if anybody would like it, and we'll send you an invoice. If not, I'll just put it on the um, website as a one-off. Because I, I dyed it, and then it was, seemed a bit bright, so I then put it in another colour. You know you do, a bit of in another colour. So it's not going to be a replica. <laughs> I sort of could, but it was a bit time-consuming. Um, so it's a beautiful colour. I did think I'm going to keep it myself, but then I thought that's a bit mean to knit with it, isn't it? Absolutely your colours. Claire, uh, it's yours. It's, it's yours, Claire. I do love the colours. I must admit, I really do like the colours. But it's similar to one we did once before, I think, at a Christmas time. It just looked really familiar. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. But they're definitely your colours. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's gone. So, Claire, right. that's, that'll wing its way to you. Um. So that's that's my three boobs all in one go. Well, there you go. Yeah. What other knitting have you been doing then? Um, would well, you sorry, to cast on. Mm. I've done a new cast on today. Thanks, Cast, for sending the wool. That was obviously quick because you were only even talking about it last Friday. Yeah. So I have gone for um, the blue, which is Semmer Water. And it's, again, the um, Aran... Wensleydale Long Wool Sheep Shop. Um, it's what colour? Semmer water, like the like the um, like the lake. It's colour number because they're all numbers, aren't they? One three six. Sierra Echo Mike Echo Romeo. Well, that's how I'd written. I've just never ever heard of it. I didn't like to Google it. And oh, it's, well. a, it's a it's a lake in North Yorkshire. Well, there Never you heard go. of it. I had heard of it. So it's that blue and it's gorgeous. It's like a denim blue. And I put it with the um, coral reef sparkle. Oh, coral reef sparkle. And look at it. I mean, isn't it? Well, I, I say it every week and I need to stop saying it. We say it all the time. All I can, not all I can say, but don't. That jumps out at me there is the olive in the coral oh, yeah. reef, which you couldn't see in the pink. No, you couldn't. So there, I'm trying to get it because the light's a bit funny in East there. I'm loving how it's knitting up already. I thought I'd go for the um, the sparkle because on the sparkle it's, it's gone like a different 
it's like more, it's knocked it back for some reason. Normally it makes it brighter, doesn't it? The green's you know, brighter. The green's brighter. But the others are more muted, aren't they? But I'm Maybe looking now and it's... See the green, but... That's but yeah, I, that's all you can see on there. I'm loving how it's knitting up. I mean, you can when you really look, you can see the magenta. But, but it's the green that stands out, isn't it? So yeah. I'm really happy with that. So, um, yeah, I'm cracking on with that. So, I mean, the, the Wensleydale long wool, it, the arrow, it's really, really nice, isn't yeah. it? Um, it is, it's a gorgeous, it's like a denim blue. And it does have that sheen. Yeah, it does have a shine on it. It's lovely. So oh, I'm getting covered in bits again. But at least this time on the sofa, you can't notice this. I'm still underneath, like hoovering, I still get a pink sheen sometimes of the, of the pink. But um, that's really, yeah. really nice. So, um, yeah, because I've not knit with the coral reef um, uh, sparkle before. And I just thought, oh, I'm going to use that. So yeah, I've cast that on, cracking on with that. I have made a decision on me um, Arwena jumper. You yes. know, I was getting all like this with it because it's cotton and it wasn't giving, well, it was giving myself another, and I thought, you know what, it's not the right, it's not the right wool. It's just not, I wasn't, I love the pattern and what I'm going to use is, can you remember I got that um, merino um, bright pink to go with my cardigan when I was barrel cardiganing. I bought merino to go with it. Yeah. And that I'm going to use that, I think. Um, that's double knit. So I think I'm going to knit it in that because it's really soft and got movement in it. I was literally, because the cotton, there's no... Well, I, was, I was very surprised you'd even started it because you've well, said before, I'm I, never, I did say last week, you never knit with cotton, but you've done so much of it. Um, Lynn, I've gone... Five, I've got 500 grams because I weighed my pink cardigan um, and it was 600 grams and I used, because I couldn't work out how many of the pink I'd used because obviously I was unwinding the um, barrel cardigan. So I used, when I weighed it and I used 100 and probably about 100, over 100 grams of the coral reef in the last one. So I thought, well, if I've used 100 grams plus, then 500 grams is going to be enough, I think. Well, it, the pattern says 400 grams, doesn't it? There's 400 metres. 400 metres. And there is, that's right, there's a, I worked out the metre, there's 160 metres in one of these. So I've got more than enough, I think. Well, um, it says 400 metres, but that's like six inches, eight inches shorter than yours. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got, the, on each one of these, there's 160 metres, and I've got five of them, so there's more, so than, yeah. more than enough. Yeah. Um, and you will, you will need coral reef, you, you will definitely need over 100 grams, um, so it's going to be 200 grams, because we don't do the sparkling at 50. Unless you do the short version. Yeah, unless you do a short, I mean, mine is a lot longer than the pattern, um, Lynn. Um, because I wanted it a longer sloppy. You can do it. I literally did it until I ran, thought, you know, you could just do it till you run out of wool, especially if you do your sleeves first. The pattern does say, depending what size, it does give you meterage. And I think we've both found that is accurate, that meterage. Yeah. So if, you, if your pattern says the size is only 400 meters, you might get away with one coral reef, but we've both added length because it's cropped. Yeah. So you yeah. would need to. Um, and I've got, and I've done the medium size um, and I didn't block mine and it could have easily gone a bit bigger. So um, yeah, I would <laughs> err on the side of caution. Yeah. <laughs> so I, Lynn, and your, your bum is nowhere near as big as my bottom. Let me tell you that. Um, so yeah, it, I, I think I wouldn't just, uh, I wouldn't dare say just one. No. I'd go for two. You might get away with 150 grams, but you can always use coral reef spark for something, can't you? I mean, for heaven's sake. Goes with everything. Everything. Goes with everything. But I'm yeah. really chuffed with how it's knitting up. I'm loving the colour. I'm loving but it. I did the medium. I used 400 metres and I did it longer than the pattern. 
And, and I got it says 400 meters, and I got 400 meters, but I didn't do it anywhere near as long as you. So um, I'm expecting I, I'll have some of the blue left over as well. That's what I'm expecting. So I'll have yeah. some. Of that. I'd rather have bought more. But if you do, if you buy a garment quantity, you want you don't want to get to the end and not have enough to do your ribbon or cast off. Exactly. So exactly. Um, so yes, that's but, my two. Speaking of garment quantities, the jumper I'd cast on last week that was the ribbed, like the Sunday cardigan. Yes. And I'd said, I'm just not sure, it feels a bit too thin. I really wasn't happy with it. So that is being ripped out. Okay. I really like the pattern. It needs, the yarn's too thin. And it is a four ply with a mohair, and I was yeah. just doing four ply. I wasn't happy. I'd done not all the oak, but and I just thought it's too loose. So that's coming out. So well, you know, don't you? When you knit it, it's like me with that cotton. You persevere with it, but you know it's not right. And what's yeah. the point of keep going? You may as well just cut your losses and start again. So what have I you gone for? What that's going to be, but. I'd got this in my stash, a yarn quantity of, um, it's another drops. It's there. I mean, look, she's organised, isn't she? All written down and everything. I know. It's drops lima. All ah, right. Is there, uh, oh, it must be double on it because it's 50 grams and there's 100 metres. So it's. Have you used that on something else before that drops lima? No. I do, I've used drops before, but I've not used drops lima. So I've got a notification. So I've just cast on, not that you can see, a top down jumper that starts in, um, well, it starts in garter. Reverse but, garter. But it's not garter because you're doing it in the round. So it's knit one row, pearl one row. Right, okay. It looks like garter, and then you go into just plain knit. Right. Um, it's a really simple... Can you nice see? shape. Like a boat-necked... I, I just saw it and thought... Again, it was a free pattern. I wasn't looking for free patterns. It's done in a sport weight... And I'm doing it in a DK. The metrage is not massively different, but I thought I'm going to go for it. But the the one I was doing on four ply last week was on four mil needles. This is on DK on three seven five, so it's a much tighter fabric. Yes. Yeah. Really simple, really straightforward. Um, but I'd, I don't know what I'd bought this for. Because it might have even been the weekender like a year ago or that I've never got round to. It's not waiting for you, waiting for a little project. Yeah, and I just thought, oh, I only cast it on yesterday. So I what's just, the composition of the wool then? What is the lima? It's um, alpaca wool. All alpaca. Oh, I think it's six. Oh, that's not it. It's never gonna, I'm never going to find it in there because it's not in there. Is it not it, on the label? Where's your label? It's here. I, I was looking in the wrong book. It is 65% wool, 35% alpaca. Oh, so it's so, woolly wool. It's woolly wool then. Yeah, and Ooh. the drops flora that I was using, that I've used before my mild mate. Yeah. Excuse me, mainly, that's the same. So it's the same composition, but... And it, it just... Compared to this, you can tell you really like it. I know it's not garter. It is garter, but you get it in a different way. But the difference between garter and um, a stocking, you know, yeah. one's just... Yeah. You can see there's a ridge as you yeah. go yeah. to it. I, I really, really like it. I really like... You can tell by your face. really like how it's knitting up. It's. I've got a swatch, so let's see... Oh, swatch, swatch. It's boat neck, and I've got a big enough hole to put my head in at the minute. So, um, grum. <laughs> that's going to be a really easy knit and natter. Yeah. I just 
he did something. Now my zigzag's off the needles. I need something for knit and natter knitting. So yeah. perfect. I can't so um, oh, and obviously knit with it and saying Liam is lovely. It's the first time I've knit with it, Anne, and I'm really liking how it's knitting up. It feels really nice. Um, so that is the Margot cardigan by somebody. Uh, cut by Lyndon Down. I'll put a link in. Um, nice. So let's see how this goes. Let's see if this one makes next week. But at the minute, I think it will. Yeah, but at least we're being honest, aren't we? You know, <laughs> but you, I think you do know. And I know you've got to try, but sometimes you just know. I love that pattern of cumbies and I want to knit it because I really like the pattern and I like the design of it. But it just, I was knitting with it and just thinking, what am I doing? It was becoming a chore and I was looking at it already in the corner and thinking, that's just not going to happen. So I just need to I'm put my blind up again. Um, I thought it's just not going to happen. Because yeah. I was literally, I was gritting. And why do I do it? Why do well, I knit with double knit cotton? Next time, just give me, just, you know, tell me. Marie, you don't knit with double knit cotton, you hate it. Crochet, fine. Knitting. Yeah. Working. It's it just, it's just we're all that. Uh, and I think well, you just feel like once you've put even a few hours into yeah. something, yeah. you think, well, I'll put this in, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. So it I wouldn't am... submit to me, Dominique. That was what was wrong with it. It wouldn't submit. The wall would not submit. <laughs> submit. But it, there'll be something out there that's the right pattern for it. You'll find well, a correct pattern Exactly. For it. It, I think it needs to be probably crocheted, but um, Grace today, when I showed... I, said I was doing that jumper and she said oh could you crochet me because at the minute crochet is big isn't it I mean crochet is like big it's in all the designs yeah. and everything so she sent me over some photos um of some crochet tops she would like I mean not just one you know you get bombed but I said to her she sent me all these pictures and I went right that's fine show me the pictures I said but why don't you have a look on Ravelry and send me some patterns Pat you like so this is the one we're going for to start off with and I thought I'm going to use the pattern on it it wasn't it was only a two quid pattern I mean look we've already now Grace you've given me one list of colours and then I've got an actually dot 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 change the colours around um, so this is the pattern that I'm going for first and then some of the other ones she wants just like they're just um, squares on your boobs we're on boobs again. Um, squares, and I thought, oh, I don't need a pattern for that. I can do that myself. But this one, so I bought this pattern. So we'll see how I get on with this. I mean, it's just a big square. Yeah. Um, I can't. You got sleeves or? No. So this is what you'd like. I mean, um, that's be fairly quick and easy to do. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm thinking. But I was looking... Like, these are the inspiration, right, on, right, handmade rainbow top, right, look at that. I'm trying to do it so you can't see there. £45, ladies, gentlemen. Get your crochet hooks out. £45, these lunatic young people are paying for these. I've got to be honest, that looks... That looks like she's taken a grandma's cushion to pieces, cut cut it into two pieces again, and then just like strung oh. it round. Forty five pound. I mean, there was another one that I looked at and thought, you you just all having a laugh. Um, I mean, this would be a challenge, Dominique, wouldn't it? We'd rock that, wouldn't we? There'd be more. I think there'd be more hanging out than there's hanging in. Dear, oh dear. £45. I mean, I, I looked at it and thought, it's just granny squares. It's not even, it's not even... Shaped. Shaped. It's just granny squares all the way around with the strap on. So, um, I mean, this one did make me giggle. £28 for this one. Twenty-eight. I mean, it just looks... All I can see is a smiling frog. <laughs> I can see. The colour <laughs> help with that one. 
So that um so watch this space next week when we get a colour choice decided. It'll be getting done in Starcraft. Cheap as chips, because it'll be getting the student hand wash it, student washing machine washing. So yeah. I'm yeah. not an expensive bull for that. And that's perfect because you're not gonna need much of either there'll be no. there'll be multiple colours and you'll use about 10 grams of each. Yeah. So let's see what that is. So, I mean, come on, you could be having this. I did say to her, I'll teach you how to crochet and you could make some of these and you could be, you know, yeah. 45 pounds. I mean, even if you crochet slower, you know, all those granny squares that you have kicking about, just knock them together and just sell them. They'll buy them. Madness. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Madness. Anyway, so um, what else have you been on then? I saw you, no. oh, you getting on with Barbara Socks. I just realised, that's what I was just looking for. I thought, oh, I've not brought them. Um, I, they're coming. I have done them. I have done bits of them. Um, but they, I've had them in my rucksack all week. So if I've stopped somewhere, I've had 10 minutes or yeah. as I was walking along the beach on... Oh, a um, bit in. Um, I'd, I'd walked all the way along the beach for ages, sat down in the sun. I was just hoping that you've missed the, said the word, I was sat in the sun. And I was sat in the sun, so I'd walked for a long time, and then I thought, I'm just going to sit. I'd made a, um, made a flask. I thought, oh, I'm just going to sit down and um, sit in the sun and do some knitting. And then as I was about to pack away, and I thought, why am I packing? I've got my rucksack, so... The ball goes in my rucksack, and then I just walked because I thought I used to think, "Oh, people are going to look at me," and now I think, "What? Well, really, the state of some of the people on that beach?" I thought, "I don't care if you're looking at me. Who cares?" So I did about five stripes of Barbara walking all the way back along the beach because you don't need to do. You don't need to look. No, in my rucksack. Um, so Barbara's probably had, she's maybe had 20 or 30 stripes added to her, but it's been the um, a cowl and then I cast that on and then it's been jigsaws. I, I did see a bit, those, um, is it um, geography ones? They look amazing. I mean, it's a good job I started this one second and not third because... Oh my god. How many did you get done? I only got two done. This one took me 12 and a half hours. I mean, look. Where's at that off then? Lincoln. That's, a, that's Lincoln. Lincoln, but yeah. They, just. Oh, the pictures are gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, I mean, it's a really nice, a really nice jigsaw. But I mean, there are points where you've got a piece of jigsaw and you're trying to find it on. And I, Forever. So there was less knitting done, but I really so Caroline, thank you for the recommendation. Um it, you can have this now, but just oh. bond, it will take you quite a year. A, a year. Um but really nice. Oh good. I, you know, I've lived well, not lived, I've worked in Lincoln for nearly 25 years. And when you work in Lincoln, you get to know the place really well because you're sent to different addresses all over the city. So I would consider that I know the city well. There are still things on there I'm thinking, well, I didn't know that was there. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> so it, it was, yeah, really good. So there was not quite as much knitting. Um, I'd done the first jigsaw oh. an evening. Um, so which of the jigsaws have you done then? So I've not got, I did a was jig. I did, I put a picture of them, oh, not on our Instagram, I put a picture on Instagram and said, what should I do? So I did the was jig first, then I did that, and I didn't finish it till Wednesday or Thursday. So then I thought, right, I need to stop now. But just speaking of jigsaws, because, I mean, I've always done jigsaws, but just... Now I've started doing speed jigsawing, or not speed, speed jigsawing. Jigsaw. 
Rock and roll. Like I can, like I've got into making noting all my knitting bible. I bought myself a craft project bible. I'm disappointed you could have ordered a special one that said my jigsaw bible. You could, and I nearly did, but it's just completely plain. Oh, that's no good. I really didn't like so you could personalize, you could put the wording you wanted and you could choose whether it was lined. That was it. And that was in my basket, and I thought, I don't like it. So I've got... Stationary my... Geek, if you're watching, can you make Dominique a special one with however she wants it, with, with jigsaw piece oh, numbers? My jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Or my puzzle Bible. But I thought, I can work with this. So I've started. So you can now... always draw for you on the front. So now I'm making a note of what I've done... Where, when I did it, how long it took me. Oh, bless you. And where I got it from. So it's keeping me happy. Oh, but good. That took me 18 minutes to sort the edge pieces, an hour and 10 minutes to do the edge pieces, when the one before had taken me 31 minutes and oh. 12 hours and 32 minutes to complete, compared oh. to... Four hours, 33. Caroline's now saying they do ordinance survey. Don't tell her anymore. They'll be... oh, they do all sorts. Um, In the same company? Yeah. Yeah. The Happy Puzzle Company. I'll put a link. But yes. So, um, so you book it. Are you doing it all in different coloured pens as well? No, I'm doing it to whatever colour pen I've got. And it's right. pink at the minute. Nice. That's all right then. So, you know, just... And then if I want to do it again ever, or any of these, I'll just go back. So there was jigs where you've not got a picture and you don't know what you're yeah. doing. Four and a half hours. Sherlock Holmes that I did before that I'd got a, pi a picture, seven hours. <gasps> so some of them are more difficult. Than so people say was jigs are too hard. They're not, they're easy. No. I quite like was jigs, I must admit. Um, I might try the Sherlock Holmes one first, actually. Right. Well, that was only that's only seven hours. Oh, so, seven hours. but it, it would be interesting to have your time on and my time on because my time will be a lot longer. So, what did you do? You just time yourself when you're doing it, and then stop the timer for yes. how long you're on it. Literally, <laughs> I put my timer on. I have two going. One timing the whole thing, and then I have a thirty minute timer so I can take a thirty minute picture. I'm enjoying myself at the minute. We're in lockdown, um, so Not sit for much longer. I am. I'm staying in lockdown. <laughs> Sit down, press go, and then when you stand up to go and do something else, stop it and just keep coming back. Dee -dee. So, um, yeah. It's, it, I think it's you're good. living in lockdown forever. Yes. Yeah. It's been the happiest year of my life. <laughs> oh, God. Get dressed for knit and natters. We've, you know, we've still kept in touch. We've still done things. It is going to be weird, I must admit. It is going to be really, really weird. Like, going back to normal life. I'm like you a bit. I'm quite, you know, I've probably done a bit more than you, but I'm more than happy just, you know. It's, a bit like me. It's, and every, each to their own, but, you know, give me a day off and I am happy sat doing a jigsaw. Or right. It will be nice to go and see people, I must admit, and not have to sit outside in the freezing. You see, I mean, I just refuse to sit outside in the freezing cold. I'm a bit, I'm a bit mardy like that. It's not but, fun. I, well, I mean, what's the point? That's all I keep thinking. I'm waiting to meet and go inside. Anyway, so what else have you got? Have you got any more knitting? No, I've not. I've got, well, I've, I think that I've done any more on. Right. I've, I've had to squish me. I've had to squish me ball up. Oh, because it was getting, you know, a bit, getting a bit el collapso. So I'm now, I'm moving into the blue section. Oh, look, I mean, so yes, it is a very subtle change, isn't it? It really is. I mean, yeah. Let me get this. Hang on. You can you can see it more from a distance because you get to see more of it. Yeah. 
that's really grown because last week it had not grown that much. That's more than doubled in well, size. It, it has grown because I've been doing this in on knit and natters because that pink cotton wool was just driving me insane, you see. Um, uh, yes. So, yeah, I'm really liking it. I mean, it's going to be huge, isn't it? I mean, you can see it a bit more. That's a more definite line where it's gone into the blue. You can see the complete line there. Um, it's going to be nice. I'm liking really it. Nice. Yeah, 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 Judith's happy with her in a hermit. I know, it's um, weird, isn't it? It's weird what you get used to. I'm more than happy, you know. All this socialising business is going to be hard work, isn't it? No, because you won't do it for me. No, we've had this conversation. No, I will. That's, but I think, and I, as I've got older, I have got better. I used to just say yes to everything out of obligation. So now, you know, like, you spend time with who you want to spend time with. Yeah. Rather than finding yourself sat in a restaurant thinking, how have I got here? I must admit, David and I were talking about it the other night and saying we used to go out a lot for meals, you know, a few times a week we would go out for meals. And we, I wouldn't say it's made us think about how often we were going out for meals and things and, you know, the amount of money you spend and you just sometimes you're just going out. You can make a nice meal at home and whatever. I mean, I just need that's dad. I'll just ignore that. Um, so... You can, it's really made us think as to how much we were going out. And I said, do you think we'll go out? And we're like, no, probably not. You know, yeah, we won't go out as much just for the sake of going out for a meal. I, I think it'll be really interesting how much, how quickly, not, I'm not saying you and Debbie will, but how quickly people will just slide. Well, I, I certainly won't be rushing out as soon as it's from like, what is it, a week's time, two weeks time going out for meals because it's, I mean, it's more the hassle of like booking. I don't like that sometimes the planning of stuff. I like the spontaneity of just thinking, oh, I'll just go out for a meal or let's do this. I hate the booking. I hate the queuing. Don't like the queuing. I, yeah. Yeah. And it just, it takes it out of it a little bit, doesn't it? Having to think about it too much. Yeah. So, yeah. But it will, yeah. Just, just be interesting to see in a year's time not just, you know, yeah. what everything looks like. I am looking forward to going away on holiday abroad, I must admit, but it's not going to be this year, we've already said, because the last thing you want is to be gone somewhere, then they change the traffic light system and you then end up having to quarantine or... Yeah. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah, Judy's saying she's got so much more money for yarn now. Exactly. exactly. Which, although... I'm trying not to spend it on yarn too much, but yeah, it just makes you realise how much money you were spending needlessly. Exactly. I, I would probably call it co-op most days, not spend a lot, but even five or ten pound every day. Yeah. Sorry, I just need to send my dad a message. He's trying to get hold of me, so I'll just send him a quick message. <laughs> um, whereas now, that you know, you can use that money to go on holiday. Exactly. <laughs> holidays throughout the year so um yeah we all we all we're all different and it's probably a good job we are all different um so yeah I'm, that i'm really liking how that's going it's not going to, i'm looking forward to when i get to the darker blue bits um but i did like to sellotape it up because it was just collapsing on me and i didn't like when it. you've shown that the last couple of times you've shown it that looked very green into blue now yeah. that Looks like you're showing a blue ball of wool. Yeah. And you know, the centre's still got a bit of green in, but yeah. you've, you've knit all of the green. Yeah, I have, I've knit quite a lot of it, but I, say I was doing it all on the knit and natter, so I didn't have to think about me um, squidging my face up to do the to do the wool. Yeah, and that's it. It's Again, we're all different, and some people like just one yeah, project. Yeah, one project. But I like to have... Something that I can do when I'm sat in front of the telly, something I can do when we're knit and natter and just have that choice. So have you got your next holiday book then in this country? Have you been looking? Have you got anything else booked? I'm yeah. not, I, I've not had anything booked, but that's not to say I've not looked. And there is a week in Scotland in June. Nice. But now, um, I think it's the 
we can't have my second jab. But no, uh, I'll, I'll not have a, I'll say I'll not have a week away. When they keep popping up. You won't may as well. You were saying everything's booked. Things are booked, but there's so many cancellations all the time. Um, mine's in, my second jab's in a couple of weeks, two weeks time on a Friday. Yeah, one, mine's the middle of, I think, so. Um, obviously the Euros start in June, into July, so that's going to keep me busy. Um, the retreat's in July. So yeah. I, might, I might be here till September. Goodness me. I know, but then I've got a holiday booked in November, so, yeah. you know, we might need to spread it out. <laughs> we might have to have a weekend away, Dominic. I keep trying, don't people? I keep trying. It's not, you know, I think it's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. Well, it, wait, I could fit it in. She could fit it in. I could fit it in at the beginning of June, probably. Ooh, the beginning of June. But we can't, we've not been able to go away. We haven't been able to. We haven't. I mean... Well, Boris confirms we're still not sure from the seventeenth of May, but um, I think it's I think it's looking good that we can. Oh, I'm really looking good. Um, but yeah, um, it, it's I, I, it is really positive, yeah, and the vaccine is. program is flying along, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, but yeah, um, talking of the retreat, as we said, we've got a meeting after Boris's announcement. So once we know what's definitely happening, then we'll let you know. And um, we've had quite a few people interested and have already we've got quite a few people. So not next week, it's the week after. Yeah, after. And but, so we'll be able to give you an update on that week. And then, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because we'll be talking to them about what we'll be able to do and what we, you know, what we and envisage. And they keep saying, and nothing's been confirmed, but they keep saying because of the way everything's going, there might be no social distancing after June, so that'll let, be. Yeah, let's wait. Let's wait and see. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be a lot better than what it is. Not even said anything up to now, have they? So they're obviously really pleased with the way it's going. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's going to be just go nice to go back to the venue and. I know, I know, because we went, didn't we, in the after the end of last lockdown when we were able to go inside, we went for an afternoon tea there, didn't we? And it was lovely. Yeah. It was really nice. The food's lovely. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Can't wait if we can go ahead. Oh, it'd be fantastic. I can't wait. It is only two months away. I know. It's not long. Not long at all. Oh. It was funny because I was thinking, oh, I'll have to arrange, I'll have to arrange Scooby sitting. But I'll have to get my dad down. Like, dad down to look after Scooby. I'll not be there. You're thinking <laughs> you've got to sort out Scooby sitting. I'm thinking... I'm going to have to sort out some projects. I'm going to have to have another box of projects. I think we'll find something else to be knitting before then. But, but I mean, but that's a nice thing to plan yeah. for. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, well, I haven't got anything. I haven't got anything else. It's going to have to be projects that you don't think about. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be knitting a row and taking three rows out. Yeah. But it'll nice to be that we'll be able to be planning for it, won't it? Do you know what I mean? Things that we can do while we're there because we. You know, we, we want to be able to all sit together and do some projects that we've put together, don't we? That's what, you know, it's just how we work it out. Yeah. Um, but, um, oh, bless Judith doesn't have a second shot till August. And then oh, she lives the looking at a third one. That's it. We just don't know, do we? No, we don't. We have no. But Judith, if this, you know, if it goes ahead this year, um, you know, it is something that we want to keep doing. You know, it's not going to be a one-off. No. Um, we do but want to keep going. Just keep yourself safe, Judith, yeah. and stay in a knit. Um, yeah. I've got two more things, not knitting, but yarn-related. So um, my Beaches and Birdsong box. Look at them. Nice. I really, really like these colours. What's that bit? What's the what are they called? The theme or so it's nature trail, but these are birds. Yeah. So that, which I can tell I'm not very good with my birds, even I know. That's a great tit. Yeah, we'll have that. And that is a clutch of eggs. Oh yes, speckled eggs. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And then I had a I like tiny, a 
tiny little wham bar, but that's gone in my tummy. Um, <laughs> two little oh. wooden beads and, I mean, it's just nice. Two stickers. Oh, they're nice. You see, I wished I had stolen it when I went up to your house to pick the wool. Yeah. It was there and I thought, oh, she'd never know. I could pretend I'd just steal them. Um, and then she just puts a little bit about where the inspirations come from and her garden. Nice. The birds, including great tits and... Yeah, just... You're grouped again. Really, really nice. Really nice. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I think I've got January, February, March, April, May, June. I've got one more to come, and that will have been six months worth. And then I'm going to find a project. Nice. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I don't because I um all I've got quite a few mini skates that I bought. Um, because I've got the flower fairy ones and then I've, I've got some of those those 10 gram ones that you got me for my birthday and then I've also ordered from Castle View Yarns their friends I've got one of their friends mini skeins set so I'm keeping them all in that jar that Sarah got me you know with my sweetie jar that I never got to eat sweets out of please pardon we yes. have yeah, I've shown them the friends one no I haven't got that yet I'm saying that I'm waiting for the friends one but you've seen all the others I'm um, just no, I haven't. They, I think they're due to be sent out on the 10th. Um, right. But I'm keeping them all at the minute in that jar that Sarah got me for me sweeties that I never ate. That yeah. Else ate. Um, so they're all in there. And I just keep looking at them thinking, oh, I wonder what I'm going to make from them. Um, but talking of subscriptions, I, I'm doing this to Dominique. I mean, I just go off on one and, you know, she'll be looking at me and going, we never decided this. We never discussed this. So the last bakery box has gone out. Um, can you believe that we've done a whole year of them? So we've done the six. I can't believe it. Yeah. Um, so I'm putting this out there. So the bakery box is finished. Um, it was really, really popular. Do you want something similar? What would you want? Do you want us to do something different? Would you be interested in it or, or not? Um, all I'm saying is, I don't think whatever we do, it will be wound into four tiny little balls because that was very time consuming. Oh, um, we have asked this on the podcast before. We have, but we didn't say where we were really going with it. So I'm just putting it out there again. That is it something you'll be interested in? Because then we can have a discussion as to what we could do. So but we have, we'll just add, I'll just add to that because we have had a discussion. So when it came back last time, it was potentially something with larger quantities quarterly was what came out as people like right. so is that still that's still that, what you want yeah essentially doing something like that on a theme but instead of minis having more either 50, yeah either 50 grams or or whatever let us know what you think because then we can we could because we've got ideas now coming up for obviously we've got the make along at some point we've got we've got our yeah. Christmas things. Well, that is he's still going ahead. We're just doing the finishing tweaks to the pattern. Yeah. It needs to be right before we launch. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I mean, we're not in any rush for it. So, but we've got that to think about. We've got Christmas things to think about. We just wondered, you know, would you be interested in it, or would you rather we left it? Because we know there's quite a few different things coming up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let us know. The, let us please. know what you would like. Smaller things like minis or. 50 grams or what What would you prefer? Yeah. Yeah. Just, I uh, know when we asked last time, because I've got, I've got it written down somewhere, but um, we'd said potentially 50 grams. Yeah. It won't, if we do 50 grams, it won't be different bases. No, um, it'll just be the one base, but different. Oh, I think there's maybe we could do sparkle, but um, yeah. obviously different colours and things. So... Um, yeah, let us know what let us know what you fancy um and we can start looking at it but i thought we'd ask again because it had come to an end so that now it's come to an end it's and like claire just suggested something that we've both discussed we have discussed in the past we have about, talked about that a sock set yeah and Anne's just said 50 gram and a mini which is a sock set that was my so 
so and themed. We would do it again themed, wouldn't we? So it would have a specific theme and yeah. So is everyone happy if a sock set a fifty and a twenty? Yeah. I would always get a pair of socks, but some people want to... you get a cow out of it as well, wouldn't you? Some of those cows that we've been looking at. Yeah. You know, there's lots of cows out at the minute that are doing, um, like, 70, 80 grams, you know. Yeah, probably... and I think if we did something like a sock set, a 50 and a mini, we could do it more regularly than quarterly as well. Yes, or a 50, if you don't think 20 is enough, a 50 and two minis, do you know what I mean? Let us know. We'd rather we'd rather do what you want if you don't think 50 and 20 is enough for a subscription. We'll probably give you an option. You could yeah. either do 100 in a mini or a 50 in a mini. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we could. So, and then and then those people that like to have, you know, yeah, 70 grams for a pair of socks is plenty for me, but not everyone does. That's so, what I mean. yeah. So let us know what you would prefer. And we'll get yeah. our thinking caps on with a theme. We like a theme. And then we'll we'll go with that. We'll run with that. But yeah, like Dominique said, it doesn't have to be the main the main thing when we did the bakery box, we weren't sure how it would go. That's why we said every two months. And because there was a lot of work in the winding, we knew yeah. it would take us longer. But if it's if it's um 50s and minis, we could probably do something monthly if that's if you'd be interested. Yeah. Again, let us know. Monthly or bi-monthly? I like throwing these things at Dominique. Well, no, because we've we've asked, we have discussed, yeah, but, but we've got it written all down. But yeah, is people change? We all change. Yeah. Yeah, what I was planning to do three weeks ago, I'm not doing now. So, well, it was more now that that one's finished. You see, I thought if people want something else, then we could yeah, could offer it, couldn't we? I like it. Yeah. Um, okay. I've got one more thing. My stomach's rumbling. I mean, I'm not used to us being on at this time of night. And this is um, just a purchase. And, and I don't, it's not, I don't think it's an enabling thing, but I just wanted to share it. So um, I know I'm not the only one that watches um, Ali on Little Drops of Wonderful. And her youngest, Phoebe, has designed a pin. And I, Love pins and Phoebe's lovely. So I have purchased Have Happy Adventures. Oh, that's fabulous. How old oh, Phoebe? Oh. Maybe 10. I think she's 10. That's brilliant. I love that. Oh, that is. So one for me and one for you. Oh, um, thank you. Then, and then I sent a couple of stickers, yeah. which I bought because I've bought a pins. And bless her, Phoebe sent a little thank you note. Oh, Yorkshire tea that Ali always puts in with hers. Oh, she, oh, makes, she makes some Oregon. Oh, I love making those. Then look what she's put in. Oh, <gasps> card. Oh, that's fantastic. They are that really nice, those. Oh, has she put them in there? I think I actually bought them. I've seen, I was thinking, oh, that was really nice of her. Well, I think I bought them. My but sticker I've got on my laptop here, I've got on one side, you are a little drop of wonderful sticker, and on the other one, I've got my rainbow NHS one. Yeah, so, I uh, think mine on my laptop, but I just thought they were kind of lovely. And then... And I, then... I put in a little bag that says for giveaway. Oh, thank so she you. Sent so um, these will just stay for when we do a giveaway. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. She sent us two more badges and she sent one of her pins. Oh, that's really kind of you. That was so nice. I've, I've only just come oh, back. Oh, that's and lovely. I don't think Ali watches, but I, Ali, if you do, thank you. And I'll drop you an oh, email. Oh, brilliant. But at some point in the future, we've got, uh, one of her little drops of wonderful pin badges and two of Phoebe's and then some postcards to oh, do it. Perfect. That was so nice of her. I didn't expect that at all. So, one, I forgot I'd bought the postcards, but I was opening this package thinking, what are all these things? So, oh, oh Jane, have you got one of 
Phoebe's. Jane's saying she's got one as well. They're lovely. They're really, really nice. So I've just had a little message pop up there on my computer. Emma Ball, did you see the new bags? Oh. You probably haven't seen the post. She's put a post on. She's got some new knitting bags and purses and things. Oh, oh. my lordy lord. Oh my lord. They are so nice. Because she did put a post on a little while ago saying these will be out soon. I think that's the ones with all the like really multicoloured ones. Yeah, they're yeah. really nice. I like looked and thought, oh, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I know. Not going there. Not until so, uh, Christmas, maybe. Not till Christmas or birthday time, Dominique. Um, oh. 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 Yeah. Hang on. Miss Jane really saying she loves the channel. Uh, it's just so nice, Jane. I just sit down and watch. I watch both of hers. Little drops of wonderful and this little one for life. It's just, just really nice watching them. So I really wanted to support Phoebe, so I did. That's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah, really nice. And Ali was saying that um, obviously Ali's had to outlay the money to buy them, um, and once she's broken even then Phoebe's going to start earning. But like she said, oh, she's, really... she's just teaching her, you know, you've got to pay your supplier, you've got to pay your PayPal fees, your Etsy fees, your postage. Um, so well, she said... She's going off with a crochet hook and make some of those tops for 48 quid. <laughs> it's a bit of like an economy lesson for her as well. Exactly. Um, oh, no. Oh. She's bought the woolly sw sweater sheet. Oh, I... They are really... I've got one. I've got one. Oh, and Mandy's just ordered. I'm not looking. Don't look. Don't look, Dominique. Don't look. Because that's what happened. We mentioned something on here. Then I go, I have to go onto the site, and it's normally Melly with Rick Rack Room. I have to go yeah. onto the site to get the link, and you can't copy and paste the link without looking. No, exactly. Exactly, you've got to have a look, haven't you? It's rude not in, to have a look. In fact, I really should take a couple of send Melly a couple of pictures of her bags on holiday. Yeah, <laughs> just send her a picture to say your bags have been on holiday. Yeah. This is where they've been. Oh my lord! Well, I think that's it. I think it is. I just wanted to show them two nice posts that I'd come back to. Brilliant, uh, I'm not surprised. They are very nice. Again, I could have stolen that as well. I think that, that was obviously in the other little box. It was, yeah. 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 They Darn were. it. I know. Well, at least you've got a pin coming to you. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you. Did, uh, was your dustbin there? Dustbin's still here. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was slightly worried that the dustbin might have blown away. Well, if it blew away or anything blew away, someone's picked it up and put it all back. So oh, that's all right then. Phew. Uh, I came in and there was a red card from the post office and I thought it said it will be delivered tomorrow after 1pm, meaning today. And I was here thinking, well, I want to crack on and do things. Where are you? And then when I read it a second time, it said it will be available at the post office after 1pm. Okay. So well, I might have made a purchase while I've, I'm waiting for the 32, 52 weeks of shawls to arrive. Oh. I resisted and resisted and resisted. And then when I saw everybody was ordering it, I thought, oh, I can't. I need, I just like the book. I need to have it. Um, but how you are with books, I'm obviously like that with pins. Yeah. Because I know, I know, oh, oh it's beautiful. I won't knit anything from any of them. So I'll save my pennies for pins and wool. Save your pennies for pins. And yeah. pins it and is wool. beautiful. And yeah, like you said, it's almost like a coffee table book, yeah, isn't it's it? It's a nice book just to like have a nice look at anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right. But so let us know, like we said, let us know what you fancy in the subscription box and we can get cracking on with that and let you know. We can let you know at, soon. At the minute, <laughs> Caroline might have made that purchase too. At the minute, we've got sock sets. So sock either sets. or a hundred. 50s or 100 with a mini. Yeah. If anything else that you want, um, when this goes live, put a comment yeah. below and we'll pick it up. Um, and if not, then we'll take it that you're all happy with like a sock set and we'll. Yeah. And work. Claire, I'll post it tomorrow. 
<laughs> the boob. Right. It's going to be known as the boob. The boob colour. Um, thank you for sharing the evening with us because I know we're much later. Yes. We'll be thank you. Time next week. Back to normal next week. Yeah. So it's lovely to catch up with you all. Um, sorry for all the messing about. We Have shall a see you. Have a lovely week. Have a lovely week and try and dodge the rain this weekend. <laughs>